For us, the communities, we are custodians. We are custodians of this plant. So we can, if, if we are to manage this plant, then this plant will ever and ever remain here in this area. Scattered across the mountain ranges of tropical Africa and Madagascar, the African cherry tree, Prunus africana, can grow up to 40 meters high. Its bark has medicinal properties and its dried extract is used by European pharmaceutical companies in the treatment of prostate disorders. In 1995, after years of over-harvesting, it was listed in Appendix 2 of the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species, CITES, which requires tighter controls on trade. But range states were unable to monitor the trade due to lack of resources. And in 2007, the EU imposed a ban on Prunus africana imports. In 2009, in Cameroon, the biggest exporter, CITES and the International Tropical Timber Organization, ITTO, began a program to ensure its sustainable management. CITES assessed the new scientific data and on its recommendations, the EU lifted its ban at the end of 2010. I want to thank ITTO and the CITES Secretariat in Geneva for accompanying us on our way on trying to lift the ban. We are very, very, as a government, appreciative of that. As a result of the programme, Cameroon has now put in place a chain of custody to guarantee its conservation and sustainable use. Harvesters climb Mount Cameroon, the country's highest mountain. They've been trained and certified in sustainable harvesting techniques. Depending on the diameter of the tree, they take two, three or four pieces of bark on each side of the trunk every five years. They no longer strip all the bark from the tree. If you take too much bark, the next thing is death. The tree will die and then you will no longer have prunes again. So it is important to take just small and then allow the tree to be there. Monitors check the harvester's work. The tree is tagged to ensure that it's not cut again within the five-year recovery period. The communities harvest less bark than before, but they get a fair price, earning a higher rate per kilo. Actually, we are not so interested in more bugs. We are inter interested in the sustainability of the tree. More than half the money from the harvest goes into community development projects, such as pipe-borne water and building schools. The bark not only generates income, but it has a strong cultural value as a traditional medicine. I use it for trade some illnesses. We have like uh, fever, malaria, at headache, especially stomach aching. The medicinal properties of the bark are big business for the trading companies that export it to European pharmaceutical companies. Allocated a sustainable quota from a specific harvesting site by the Ministry of Forestry, the trading companies have to show the authorities where the bark has come from. The trading company transforms the fresh bark into a dried product. 
It then applies to the Ministry of Forestry for a new certificate of origin and for a CITES export permit. Quand nos produits sont prêts, sortis d'usine, avant toute exportation, nous avons des papiers obtenus du ministère de la Forêt, tels que le CSK d'origine, le permis CITES. Ça permet aux clients en Europe de savoir de la provenance du produit jusqu'à son usine. Traceability of the bark is absolutely key for the trading companies exporting to Europe. In Douala, the Ministry of Forestry imposes rigorous checks on consignments of timber and non-timber products coming into and leaving Cameroon's biggest port. European companies are allocated Prunas Africana bark based on Cameroon's sustainable quota and receive a CITES import permit. Before Prunus is transformed into a remedy for prostate sufferers, it goes through an extraction process. At Indena, the world's biggest medicinal plant extractor, technicians check the identity of the incoming plant material and analyze it again after extraction to make sure it has the correct active ingredients. The origin of the vegetal material is uh, very important, especially for pharmaceutical products. It is uh, mandatory that we know exactly the traceability of uh, our product since the origin, so since the forest region country. In the second phase of the EU funded programme, greater focus will be on defining precise national standards for management of Prunus africana in the forests and on a more rigorous chain of custody. Systematic inventory of exportable trees. The weakest link in the chain of the custody is the lack of equipped forest officers checking regularly the harvesting of Prunus in the forest and enough equipment to check in the checkpoints along the road. From the forest to the port and international markets, sustainable management of Prunus africana is ensuring the conservation of a species whose medicinal properties have brought relief throughout the ages.